Eight live viewers. That's hard to believe. Nine live viewers. Ten. And none of you are my friends. That's really hard to believe. But you're liking it just the same. That's pretty awesome. Hey, Leah. Hey, Valerie Books. Since I have people here now, I might as well put it on me. Hey, Myra. Ah, this is a pretty cool angle. This way you can see me as well as my backyard. A little bit. My oasis. Leah, Valerie, Myra, and the 10 or 11 other people. Hey, Damien from Florida. What part of Florida? Hi, Yvette. Damien, what part of Florida are you in? I've been to Tampa and Clearwater and Orlando and St. Augustine. On my hit list is Key West. Hello, Melanie Wheeler Berrios. Welcome to my backyard, virtually. Damien, maybe I'll get an answer from you later, or I won't. Looks peaceful. I'm headed to Summerfest in a few if you're not doing anything today. Really, Valerie? Um, what's at Summerfest today? I honestly haven't been interested in Summerfest in quite a few years because I just see it as a big hassle. But what's going on over there that you're going to go to Summerfest? Fort Lauderdale. Okay, that's a place... For no, I have been to Fort Lauderdale, but the only time I've ever been there was to catch a couple of cruises. A lot of cruise liners go out of Fort Lauderdale, but I haven't really visited the town of. Melanie Wheeler, yes, it is very green and very pretty right now back here. I just love this. My backyard is just like, it's a great place to chill. Valerie, you'll have to tell me what's going on at Summerfest. And thank you for the invitation, by the way. Mira, Mira Spile. Mira, I love your pictures of all the face paint. Yes, Melanie Wheeler Berrios. The birds and the squirrels and the rabbits and whatever else comes through here are always very happy. There's always wild animals frolicking. I use that word on purpose, frolicking. They're always frolicking back here. Maybe they pick up a good energy of some sort, so they like it here. I don't know. I'd be okay with that. Damien, I'm surrounded by virtual friends at the moment. To be honest, a lot of my offline friends don't live in Kenosha, which is where I live. It's like, why don't I move? Well, I don't know. <laughs> why I do know. My parents are here. I want to be here for them. And it is a beautiful area. But I don't have a lot of offline friends here. Most of my offline friends or places that I travel to, like Las Vegas, for example. And that is quite all right. So hopefully that makes sense. Valerie, I know there's a delay on this thing, but what's going on at Summerfest? Hey, Victoria. Nice to see you, stranger. Haven't seen you in a little while. What's new with you, Victoria? Damien, yes, I play lots of metal guitar, heavy metal. And I've got um, my uh, website, musicalorgasms.org, as an orgasm, musicalorgasms.org. Christine, hello from Las Vegas. Very sweet to be in nature. And this kind of nature you don't really see out there in Las Vegas unless there's a lot of water. Christine, it's been forever since I've seen you. There's a small chance that I will be in Las Vegas the second week of August, which is, well, I guess that's about a month from now, Christine. I'm not looking to get into a band right now, Damien, but thank you for that. Victoria, you should totally take a picture of you in your bikini re relaxing outside. 
Did I say that out loud in front of everybody? Yes, I did. Yes, musicalorgasms.org as an orgasm. I'm so glad I bought that domain name. And I got all my music there. You can download it for free. I don't charge anybody anything for it. Damien, I appreciate the offer. Mm. I love my BC Rich Warlocks. The seven string, 25 fretted BC Rich Warlocks are my favorite. Oh, they're so beautiful. Victoria, I'm going to say it again just because it makes us giggle. Musicalorgasms.org <laughs> as an orgasm. And if you have one while listening to my stuff, I would love to hear about it. Yes, Christine, that is great. So mark it down in your calendar. I'll be out in your neck of the woods the second week of August. Possibly. It's not a for sure thing yet. I haven't booked the trip yet, but I'm really looking at it. I'll be downtown if I do. Cool, Victoria. And don't forget that picture that I asked you about just now. Hey, Nikki Marie, it's been a while since I've seen you. How are you doing? Tammy, sure, I see you just messaged me and want to get off of this little hangout live feed thing. I will, I will go there and check it out. Just so you know, Tammy, I do see you. I just don't know if it's possible I can check my inbox while being on a live feed. Besides, if I did that, it might be boring for everybody else. I don't know. Nikki Marie, you totally should. I would watch. I would watch your live feed, Nikki Marie. Yes, I would. And all of my music I give away for free. I'll say it again just because it makes us giggle. Musicalorgasms.org as an orgasm. I give it all away for free. Don't need to worry about how I make my money. I don't have a job, so I don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. Haven't had a job for 10 years now. Thank God. I haven't had a job for 10 years and I give all my stuff away for free. It's the best thing ever. And I travel a lot. If I had a job, I probably couldn't afford jack shit, so I'm really glad I don't have a job anymore, because that is the brokest way to be, is to have a job. There's nothing more poor than needing a job for an income. That is, like, awful. But 49 out of 50 people are living that sad scenario. Well, Nikki Marie, who doesn't want that kind of a life? I mean, really. <laughs> During this little small spot, oh, wait a second. I miss upstate New York, nature, woods, birds, strips, squirrels, not the mosquito. Yeah, I know. It's kind of a trade off, Christine. It, it always is. Um, the Midwest sounds similar to what you're explaining, except here in Wisconsin. The Midwest is really boring, but Wisconsin is an exception because it's beautiful here. There's the lakes, rivers, streams all over the place. That's why I like Wisconsin. And we have Lake Michigan, which is like, might as well be the ocean, minus the salt. It's awesome. So, Christine, if you're ever in Wisconsin, you must look me up so I can show you the lakes, rivers, and streams. You'll love it gonna show you more of my little oasis here. I'm actually in the process of getting the soil ready for four gardens that I have. I have four gardens. I 
And the gardens that I'm eventually going to finish are just going to be herbal gardens, herbs and stuff. I'm not going to do tomatoes, even though a tomato is a wonderful superfood for the heart. But they're so finicky, and you have to replant them every year. I just go to the local organic farmer's markets for my tomatoes and support them. But a lot of other things I'll be growing. Um, probably just perennials. I don't know if I'm going to do any annuals. And if I do... Well, I'm going to be doing a lot of greens. Like, I've already got a lot of garlic greens. I've already got a lot of um, perennials in my yard. I'm going to do a lot more, though. Like... I'm going to do a lot of greens, like onion greens and more garlic greens and radish greens and all kinds of things like that. But I'm not going to pull out the bulbs of all these root vegetables. They're, the root, they're going to stay in there. The garlic is always going to stay in there. The onions are going to stay in there. I'm never going to pull them out. I'm just going to snip the greens and they keep growing back. And it just keeps going forever. It'll, it'll never stop. So that's how you get the most bang for your buck. And there's so much nutritional value in the greens of all those things, you know? And they make great salads, they make great sandwiches, and they make just for great eating as you just pick them, walk by, pick them, and eat them. It's just amazing. Superfood nutrition. It's like a, a pharmacy I'll be growing in my backyard. Except not a pharmaceutical pharmacy, but a nature-made pharmacy. Because pharmakia means poison, pharmaceutical means poison makers. So my pharmaceutical garden is not going to be a pharmaceutical garden because by default that means poison maker. It's going to be a pharmacy garden, a nature-made pharmacy garden. Not to be confused with pharmaceutical because this is going to be poison free. And I have never put any chemicals down in my yard, by the way. I've never put any chemical fertilizers or anything like that. I bought this property six years ago in cash, by the way. I've never had a mortgage on this and I haven't had a job in 10 years. And six years ago I bought this property cash, no mortgage. If I had a job, I'd never be able to do that because jobs make you poor as fuck. Jobs are stupid. So anyway, um, when I bought this, I've never put down any chemicals of any kind. So the land here is completely organic. The soil is so nutrient dense and so beautiful and so rich of minerals. The plants that I, I grow in it, they don't, they're, they're so strong and healthy because the soil is so strong and healthy that the plants are so strong and healthy and so they can fight off insects and whatever else on their own without the need of any fertilizers. That's how it's supposed to be done. It's supposed to be done. Hi Heather Long from Texas. You and I have been friends for maybe a decade now or the better part of a decade since the MySpace days. Remember MySpace, Heather Long? It's been a long time. I'm grateful that we've been friends for as long as we have been. Rose Thompson, you have an excellent memory. And you know what? That was so long ago and I've only grouted one shower. I've forgotten. I'd, I'd have to learn all over again. I'd have to go back to YouTube and back to Lowe's and Menards and talk to those guys and watch the videos on YouTube and relearn it if I would ever do that again. But it was fun to do it, no doubt. And to this day, I don't think I've ever put up the before and after pictures. I remember I took a bunch of pictures of everything before and after, and I still should do that like six years later. Why not? Right? Mm -hmm. I think I did of the shower at least, but I didn't of the whole house. Like there's so many things that I haven't shared yet of what I did because this house was kind of a mess. Yeah, but is it useless info? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I should do that. I need to go back. I've got them filed. Um, all the pictures that I take, I categorize them by year and also some other things in subcategories, but I would have to go back to uh, the pictures I took from the year 2000... What year was it? 2010? Yeah, 2010. And find those pictures in 2010. And I could put them together and show you guys what it looked like before and what it looked like after I redid everything. Heather Long, that is way too hot. And down there, you've also got the more humidity than we have here. I would never survive down there, man. No way. I'll do 110. I'll do 120 in the desert, in the dry heat. But 110, 109, 100, even 90 in humidity is too much for me. Thanks, Michelle Berg. 
rain, rain, go away. Come back some other day. But not in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. I have to say, my friends, I'm pretty stoked that so many of you would actually just want to hang out on a Facebook Live feed where I'm not really talking about anything. It was just, hang out. Why not? Nikki Marie, that is why I will not visit New Orleans in the summer. I can't do it. In the wintertime, I love New Orleans because it's comfortable outside. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Good to see you too, Rose. Packing for a trip to in with the... What is in? Indiana? Tell me, tell me. Or private message me if you're busy. I'd like to hear about it. Rose Thompson. Hi, Kelly. So, Kelly, that just joined us, she's a fellow Team Beachbody coach. That's right. Rose, I'm like, uh, well, depending on what part of Indiana, I'm in Kenosha, Wisconsin. So, the closest part of Indiana, I believe, is about an hour and a half or so from me. I'll private message you about that later. So Nikki Marie, when is your favorite time to visit New Orleans? Like what time of year? <coughs> or Rose, Facebook inbox me. Mm -hmm. What part of Indiana are you going to? Mm. October usually. Yes, by October it's starting to starting to cool down. I don't know by how much. I've only been to New Orleans in the winter time. Or as they say out there in New Orleans. New Orleans. Going to New Orleans. New Orleans. Lazy tongue, New Orleans. My tongue ain't that lazy. My tongue is very hyperactive, New Orleans. So it's hard for me to say New Orleans. Christine, that is awesome you say that because I totally attribute that to the things I put in my mouth. I don't do dairy. Dairy will make you age. I don't add sugar to anything, including salad dressings. Uh, if I need to sweeten something up, I'll do it with a sweet whole food of some kind, like a date or a prune or a mango or whatever, strawberry. Those are the kinds of sweeteners that I use. I do not use artificial sweeteners, and I don't, even when it comes to healthy sugars, like cane sugar or whatever, I don't add sugar to anything. That adds to the aging process. And um, I don't do oils anymore. That's more of a recent thing. I don't do oils. I get all my healthy fats from whole foods, like nuts and seeds. And if I need to add sugar to something, I'll add it through adding whole foods like nuts, or not nuts, but uh, prunes and dates and strawberries and mangoes and whatever else. And I don't do any dairy. So there you go. I mean, that's like nutrition from the inside out when you take care of the inside. I've talked to so many women, I'm not kidding you, that change to a plant-based whole food diet and they wear less makeup because there's less to cover up because they're getting healthy from the inside out. And things in the beginning will typically um, come to the surface, like they might have a bad outbreak at first, but then it all goes away because everything is just coming to the surface and expelling from the body, and then you got this beautiful skin afterwards. So that's like the best tip for healthy hair, skin, and nails ever. Not just skin, but hair, skin, and nails, as well as bone health and joints and connective tissue and all those things. And everyone should know that. Well, Nikki Marie, I'd like to hear you attempt to copy that accent. I mean, you just heard me. I said, New Orleans. So let's hear you. Hello, Angie. Hello, Helen. Good, Christy. I'm, he I'm glad to hear your husband doesn't. Hopefully you don't either. According to Christine, whatever I'm doing is the fountain of youth. The... The absolute 100% elimination of dairy from your diet is the fountain of youth. It absolutely is.
Dairy will fuck up your skin, hair, nails. Not only that, but your blood vessels, your bone health. I know we're told that dairy makes strong bones, but that's an outright lie. <laughs> There's not even any wiggle room there when they're when we are told that drinking milk is good for your bone strength. That's just there's no wiggle room. It's an outright lie. The more milk you drink, the weaker your bones get. That's a fact. Nikki, I'd like to hear you try. I know you can't do it. That's you already said that, but just to hear you try would sound it would just be so cute. Keep in mind it's not about getting the accent down, it's just about hearing it. I think I would enjoy. Christine, you and a lot of other people. As for me, I never had any noticeable problems from drinking dairy, which gives me a pretty cool perspective. Like a lot of people quit dairy because it gives them problems. I never had any problems. I drank a gallon of milk like every other day years ago. I haven't had a glass of milk in like four years. So I never had any problems. But when I stopped, um, my skin got better. My hair, my nails, skin, uh, I even felt better, and I already felt really great to begin with. I, I stepped it up. I felt even better. Everything got better. My digestion, and I always had great digestion. Dairy is just poisonous to everybody, no matter who you are. No matter what your blood type is, dairy is no good. What can you replace dairy with? Well, look into plant-based milks, like almond milk is my favorite, unsweetened. I never have sugar in anything. It's a big key. Unsweetened uh, rice milk, unsweetened hemp milk, unsweetened different kinds of nut milks. It's pretty good. But as far as getting like calcium and magnesium and vitamin D, you can get that from plants. You can get it from um, walnuts, they have tons of magnesium. Um, if you pair certain things together, like, uh, I'm trying to think, nuts and greens, you can get calcium and the absorption of the calcium and make stronger bones. The Gerson therapy, they will combine, uh, like, Swiss chard, which is a kind of green, and carrots. And when you have that together, that adds bone density to your bones. And they actually use it to reverse osteoporosis, which, according to the medical community, is not at all possible to reverse. But... Obviously, that's a lie, too, because Gerson proves them wrong all the time by having their patients have, um, by having them have uh, dark leafy greens like Swiss chard and carrots and coupling those together, they reverse osteoporosis in people. You can also get magnesium and calcium and iron and stuff like that from cacao, raw cacao. So I hope that helps you, Christy, and anyone else listening. Mm -hmm. Cool, Juliet Miles. I hope that helps your dad. 87th birthday today. Happy birthday to your dad, Juliet. Hi, Brittany. Home grand. Hi. Nikki, I know. Cheese. Oh, it's so hard. Well, I started making some vegan cheeses that are actually pretty good, and I've got them in my vegan cooking channel. I've got at least three different vegan cheese recipes. You can try them out. And the website address for that is, I'll say it twice, veganplaylist.fireyourboss.xyz. Veganplaylist.fireyourboss.xyz fireyourboss.xyz if you or anyone else listening for that matter needs the address just let me know and I'll type it out for you okay Christine look into cacao c-a-c-a-o I believe is how it's spelled cacao it is a vegan chocolate all plant based not dairy it tastes like a fine decadent chocolate it's amazing I love cacao. You don't have to give up your chocolate cravings. In fact, actually, I drink a, uh, a chocolate vegan meal shake every day, and it has cacao in it. I get my chocolate fix every day, and it's a superfood. It's healthy for me. It has calcium. It has magnesium. It has proteins. All, all the essential amino, amino acids to make up a complete protein profile. And it's got vitamins and minerals and 
phytonutrients and fibers. It's incredible. So it's like this super dense, nutritious superfood for my body, nourishing my body. And it's vegan, it's plant-based, and I get my chocolate fix. So that is a wonderful solution, Christine. If you want to know about that shake that I drink, I might have told you about it before, but feel free to private message me, you or anybody listening to this. Yeah, it kind of does sound like I started the word cow, Nikki, but I said, kick cow. Um, Christine, you are a vitamin D deficiency. Well, you may need to take a supplement for that. I don't know. And you can also get it from the sun, but you don't want to wash your skin with soap for at least several hours after you get it from the sun because it's the oils that's generated on your skin that need to absorb into the bloodstream so that you get the vitamin D from the sun. A lot of people wash it off, unfortunately, right after. You're welcome, Christy. Hi, Tina Michelle. Shelly Langston, I agree. The Gerson therapy is where it's at. By way of no biases, they just got the track record, the results. You're welcome, Nikki Marie. Angie Saunders, any suggestions on a book to get started? Gosh, there's so many. There's a lot of books based on um, on plant food, hold, plant based whole food nutrition. You can look at. I'll give you two authors, and you can look around them. But one of them is uh, Dr. Joel Furman and Dr. McDougal. Can't remember his first name right now for some reason. But private message me if you wish, Angie Saunders, and I will get you the names of Joel Furman and McDougal, and you can look up their books that they have. And I've also got my website that I go into vegan protein sources and lots of vegan um, items. And I have a vegan cooking show too, which is veganplaylist.fireyourboss.xyz. Veganplaylist.fireyourboss.xyz. Also, if you go to tomberkenmeyer.com or fireyourboss.xyz and you look at the top navigation, there's a, um, a category called get healthy and in the get healthy you're going to see a health grocery list and things like that hi Deanna Michelle Johnson hi Christine Galasso be careful with almond cheese because a lot of manufacturers of almond cheese if it's store bought they will include casein protein and the only way you will know is if you look at the ingredients list if you look at the ingredients list of almond cheese or any kind of cheese and you see casein protein put it back on the shelf step away and don't get it casein protein has been proven to turn on cancer cells it's very dangerous Brittany Holmgren that's awesome demystifying debunking myths about veganism Nikki Marie, um, I love those kinds of soaps for sure, but if you're going to get vitamin D from the sun, you still want to wait a few hours at least, maybe even a half a day really until you use soap and water if you want to get the vitamin D from the sun. Nikki, that's awesome. You're enjoying vitamin D in the sun right now as we're talking on this thing in this live feed. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> I, at least a few hours. I know I just answered it, but I'll say it again. And if you can go like 12 hours or half a day, or till tomorrow if you're not, you know, if you don't need to use soap and water tonight for any reason, just sleep on it and shower tomorrow morning or, you know, rinse off if you want to do your hair. But if you can wait till you wash your skin with soap and water till tomorrow, that would be the like the ultimate best, and then you'll get most of the vitamin D absorption. You're welcome, Angie. Yes, Nikki. Just answered that one. But just water. Just water is fine. Just don't scrub and don't use soap. Wait till tonight or tomorrow, and you'll get more vitamin D absorption. Pretty cool, hey? Who knew that a hangout would turn into stuff like this? I can't help it. I am passionate about what I'm passionate about. I think if you're my friend, my friends, you love me because you love my passion, because you love passionate people. 
At least that's what I think in my mind, anyway. I mean, who's inspired and turned on and titillated by somebody, by somebody who has no drive, no calling to do anything? A little sidetrack topic. There's so many kids today, and adults too, for that matter, sadly, that really have no direction in life. They don't have any passion about anything. That's sad. Wow, this is the first dead moment we've had in a little bit. I think I'll go for one more dead moment, and then it'll be time to end this. But for now, Amanda Gillies, yes, I agree, nobody. Another shot of my beautiful oasis of a backyard. I think I'm going to get up and walk this time, and I'll show you what I've been doing with my gardens. And maybe I'll do a whole other live feed about my gardens like tomorrow or something. This is one of my gardens, one of four. I just tilled all this soil yesterday. It took some work, man, but I got it. Eventually, this will be my pharmacy. So I'm just gonna grow herbs in it, perennials. No annuals, all perennials, all herbs, spices, superfoods. It's gonna be awesome, I'm gonna harvest my own seeds. All organic, thank you very much. And that's just the way it's going to be. Pharmaceutical can drop dead. Because pharmaceutical means poison makers. Here's another one of my gardens. So this is, I guess, two of four gardens. This one, I've already got some stuff in there. But I tilled a lot of the available soil. as all tilled now, as you can see. Like this one, I've got... These, I put about 10 crowns of asparagus in here a few years ago. You can see they're all still going to seed. I was hoping this year I'd be able to start harvesting them, but hopefully next year. And check this out. These are blackberries. They haven't turned over yet, but they're going to very soon. These are beautiful blackberries. Some of them are starting to turn over, like right there, you can see some colors to them. Thank you, Brittany. A fairy garden. Maybe I will have one, Nikki. It's a very masculine thing to do for a secure masculine man like myself to have a fairy garden, so maybe I will. Undo this. Helps keep the rabbits out. My little gate. And check this out. I'm growing grapevines. Big, beautiful, purple grape. Well, I've got uh, more blackberries in the fronts of them. Hi, Stacy. Carr. Nice to see you. But um, let's see here. Like right here, you can see these grapes. They're going to turn purple. These are purple grapes right now. They're green. But when they are mature, they're going to turn purple. And they're very sweet and they're really delicious. And I've also got more blackberries. Thanks for the hearts, everyone. Feel free to send me more hearts. I love that shit. <laughs> Nikki Marie, I don't know if they're Concord grapes. I, I honestly don't know. These were here when I bought the house six years ago. All I know is they're purple grapes, and they're really good, and they come through every year. Really good every year. Very delightful, Christy. And I got rhubarb down here. I've got like 160-something stalks worth. And contrary to what everybody else does, contrary to what everybody else does who grows rhubarb, I do not bake them, I don't sugar them up and put them in pies. I just simply, well, let me show you what I do with them. Here's what I do with rhubarb. Let's see. Uh, this one looks like a good one. This is all I ever do with rhubarb. I pick it. And I eat it. No sugar. I'm not messing it up. Mmm. Excuse me. 
that's it. That's all I do with it. In fact, most of this stuff back here, that's all I do with it. I pick it and I eat it. Now when I get my herb garden going, my greens and so forth, I'll be snipping those with scissors. I won't take the, I'm gonna be growing all kinds of different root vegetables, but I won't be, I won't be pulling the roots out. I'll just be snipping the greens and it'll come back over and over again. Every year I won't have to plant them. And you get the most bang for your buck. I mean, it's like an endless supply of these organic, nutritious superfoods. And that's how I'm going to do it. And I can take all those greens, like lemongrass greens, and wheat greens, and salad greens, spearmint greens, and garlic greens, radish greens, and I just keep snipping the greens, keeping all the bulbs in the dirt, never picking them at all. And it's going to keep reproducing over and over. It, it is the most value and the most bang for your buck ever on planet Earth. And you probably won't learn that if you go buy your seeds from somewhere because they want you to come back and buy new seeds every year. <laughs> but I don't. I won't. Hmm. Same thing with my raspberries. I don't... Check this out. Beautiful, right? I love gardens too, Christy. Tam, thank you. It is amazing. Hi, Larry Hudson. So, here's some raspberries. Thanks for the hearts, everyone. Keep sending me hearts. I love that. So, just like the rhubarb and so many other things, this is how I eat it. I just pick it and enjoy and receive the benefits from it. And there's so many... Oh, my God. There's so many raspberries here. Mmm. Oh, my God. These are so good. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. All the purple ones are the ones that have turned over. See, these are not red raspberries. <laughs> the red ones are immature. You want to get the ones that are just about to fall off. They're going to have the most energy. If you pick them before they're ready to fall off, they're not going to have as much energy. They're not going to have as much medicinal purpose. When an item of produce has... It's most energy, it's most he healing energy, it's, it's at the point of sprouting or at the point of just as it starts dying. So when something like an apple falls off the apple tree, just as it falls off, that is the perfect, most high energy time to eat that apple or that raspberry or that whatever. So as things are sprouting or just as things start to die, that's when you want to eat them. That's when they're at their most potent energy. Mm -mm. Something pharmaceutical will never tell you because pharmaceutical means poison maker and they're not in the business of helping you. <laughs> well, help can be subjective. They're not in the business of healing you. That's more definitive. Check out all of those. So many ripe ones. Oh my God. I mean, tell me this isn't badass to be eating like this, right? So much energy in these beautiful things. Nikki Marie raspberries are very yum. Thanks for the hearts. I think I'm going to give myself a heart if it lets me. No, it doesn't. But anytime you guys click like, love, or whatever, it flashes that across the screen. It's pretty neat to see that. Nikki Marie, I'm just going to be a rude motherfucker right now, eating in front of you. I'm so rude. Mmm. Living up the rudeness now, aren't I? Oh my god, these are so good. Hi, Rhonda. Oh, these raspberries are just so amazing. Mmm. Being sure that I only pick the ripest of the ripe, just the ones that are just about to fall off because those are going to have the most energy and the most medicinal properties for healing. Healing from what, you might ask? I'm not sick. Well, every day we've got some kind of cellular damage. It's just the way it is. So healing and detoxing is a gentle thing that has to happen on a daily basis. Otherwise, you open up more doorways for possibilities of getting sick for real. So healing and detoxing is gentle on a daily basis. Yum. 
Wow, thanks, Melinda. Christy, need to lose weight and to replace protein. Christy, feel free to private message me. I have, um, on July 18th, which is only nine days from now, I'm starting a new clean eating and fitness challenge. And if you're interested in that, just private message me. I'll be able to help you lose weight or release weight from fat is a better way to put it. And get you the kind of protein that is going to be most beneficial for you. Mmm. They're so flipping good. So here's a question. Do you guys ever get offended if I say flipping? Or would you rather I just said fucking? Like, if I say something is so flipping good, would you rather I just said so fucking good? Like, all the time? It's not really an important question. It's not important at all, actually. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Nikki, for something like helping your dad be cured of his cancer, uh, I would much rather connect you to somebody who has that track record of doing exactly that. And that's going to be someplace like the Gerson Institute, G-E-R-S-O-N dot com, Gerson dot com. But just as a generalization, I can tell you a plant-based whole food diet and lots of the right kind of juicing and coffee enemas. I know that's kind of gross, but that's a big part of it. They get in touch with Gerson. They got a 1-800 number on their website. They're really friendly and they're a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. Nikki, that's what I was thinking. Sometimes I feel like using the word flipping and sometimes I feel like using the word fucking. Like over there, I just felt like saying, this is so flipping good. And other times I'm like, this is so fucking good. Mm -hmm. So you're right. Here, come with me through this little trail here. This needs to be trimmed a little bit, or pruned, I should say. Pruned is the better word. Wow, what is that? Is that like a, word, a weird form of bird poop or something? I, I don't know. That's kind of weird. Anyway, glad I didn't run into it. Hi, Sandy. Anytime I go through my backyard, there's always bunny rabbits and squirrels frolicking. It's pretty neat. Hi, my friend, Sandy. And all kinds of different bird species. It's not too shabby. You know, I didn't even show you guys my other two gardens, but that's okay. Maybe another day. This wasn't really a garden video anyway. Wow, loving all the likes. Oh my God. Where's the loved ones? I don't want to just be liked. I want to be loved. <laughs> Like that old song, don't you want somebody to love? <laughs> there we go, now I see some hearts. Um, just curious, do you guys see the little like floaties and the heart floaties when other people click on them? Like there's several people clicking on a bunch of hearts right now and likes, do you guys see that? I do and I love it, keep doing it. Do it at least long enough so that people can answer. Nikki Marie, um, you, see, you do see them, Nikki. Okay, cool. So you guys do see them. You know that you can send them. It makes the person doing the broadcasting feel pretty fucking good. <laughs> and that would be me right now. And if I'm ever on any of your guys' live feeds, I'll be sending you hearts. Better believe it. And then you'll send and you'll feel good. It's kind of neat. Cool. Thank you, Tam and... Michelle and Nikki for answering those. And Sandy, I think you have the record for the most hearts in this particular live feed. Unless somebody wants to one-up Sandy by sending more hearts, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't even know how to send hearts, but I'm sure it's easy. Like, I don't see how to do it from my end, but when I'm on another live feed, I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. Like. Maybe you just tap on it. I don't. I don't really know. 
Nikki Marie, exactly. Love, not hate. Peace. Peace and love. Not, not even tolerate. I think tolerating is for wimps. Celebrate, damn it. Tolerate. Pfft. Whatever. Celebrate. You just tap. Okay, cool. So, Sandy, when you tap, does it send a heart or does it send a like by default? So, what is the difference between what you have to do to send a heart versus sending a like? It might take you a second to type that. I honestly don't know. But like, you tap on it to send something, but when you tap on it, does it send a heart or does it send a like? And what do you have to do differently? Oh, okay, so then, okay, so there's two options there, cool. You can send me a sad one too, wow. Well, uh, kitten's dying. Okay, send me a sad one. Okay, there it is, I see it. Okay, no more kittens dying, the kittens are thriving, the kittens are cute and fluffy and happy and everyone loves them. So no more sad ones. Okay, cool. This is fun. I hope you guys are not offended that my hair is up in a hat. I ran 12 miles today. 12, that's this plus this plus that. 12 miles, right out of bed. Just had a little thing of water and a handful of raspberries from my front garden that I showed you earlier, right off the vines. Got my car. Went to the lakefront, met up with the Kenosha Running Club, and we did 12 miles. Kicked my ass, man. It was about a 7 minute and 55 second mile pace for 12 miles. So that's why my hair is up and had. I haven't, um, you know, washed my hair yet since then, so it's definitely, until I do that later, it's hair is going up in a hat. You better believe it, man. Oh my god. And then I had a Shakeology after I got home, a vegan chocolate, which I call very affectionately my daily chocolate orgasm. I'm going to put a link to my daily chocolate orgasm so that you guys can see it, because that's some cool stuff. Uh, pretty sure it lets me type in here, maybe. Let's see here. Well, I might have to do that later. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, cool. Typing now. HTTP colon slash slash shakeology.com forward slash M-E-T-A-L Metal Palace There you go, so if anyone is interested in the chocolate orgasm that I have every day I've been doing it for years, there you go I just put the link in the comments area If I remember, I'll include the link in the video description area later mm -hmm. And just in the spirit of forthcomingness and forthcoming honesty, that link that I put there is a link to my affiliate website. <laughs> if you go there and you decide to try it, I will earn a commission. Zucchini with eggs. Good stuff, Tracy. Hi, Tracy May. I love all these hearts. Sandy, you are dominating with all the hearts, I have to say. There's a few others sending hearts, but you're dominating with it easily. Easily. Linda, you're also doing very good. Linda Marie Hudson, you're doing very good with the hearts. Don't you want somebody to love? Michelle Decker, thank you. Don't you need somebody to love? Wow, I just sang for you guys. I can't sing. I probably just ruined your whole day, didn't I? Like, your whole day is wrecked. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, look on the bright side. After hearing me sing, your day will just get better from here. It'll, it'll get better. Even if you get a hard phone call later, it's still better. A lot better. <laughs> okay, so what I want to do now is shift gears a little. It's been a really fun hangout, but what would you like to hear me talk about? Or if you have a question about anything. It could be about the birds. It could be about the bees. It could be about entrepreneurialism. 
It could be about food, health. It could be about wealth. It could be about freedom. It could be about chocolate orgasms. <laughs> chocolate orgasms. It could be about music, musical orgasms. Thank you, Christy. It can be about all these hearts you guys are sending me. If you have a question or a comment you'd like to make about anything, just voice it. Put on your creative thinking caps and whatever comes natural, voice it. Kelly Driscoll, are you still there? I remember you popped on. I recognized, I recognized you after you popped on, then I never heard from you. So I don't know if you're still there. And it looks like it's getting pretty quiet now. So I'm thinking, unless that changes in the next one minute, I will probably end this particular live feed until the next one. In Vegas, good healthy eats and chocolate. Linda Marie Hudson, absolutely. And Vegas has lots of good healthy eats and chocolate. You know what? Vegas is known as Sin City, but Vegas, Las Vegas, has an enormous arts community. A lot of artists of all kinds. And Vegas, you know, Sin City, is like the vegan explosion capital of the world right now. It's incredible. Las Vegas will show us the way. Thank you, Molly. This is my backyard, my little oasis. I'm glad that you like it. I love it here. It is so cool. My backyard. I paid for this house in uh, June, June 30th of 2010, so over six years ago. And I paid for it in cash. No mortgage whatsoever. I've never had a mortgage. I don't have a job. I haven't had a job in 10 years. And I paid for this house in cash six years ago, four years after I no longer had a job. Linda, I will be back. There's a possibility, Linda, that I may be back the second week, uh, sometime during the second week of August. So, I haven't booked the trip yet. It's just something I'm really looking at, but most likely I will, because I can't help myself. It's Las Vegas. Thanks, Nikki Marie. I'm so glad that you were here. I'm actually going to end this live feed very soon here. Unless, you know, unless something comes up, then it's possible I could go on. But, but yeah, actually, I'm going to, I think I'm going to end this now. So if there is any last minute question that anybody has or last minute comment, or if you agree or disagree or violently disagree with anything, feel free to say something. Nikki Marie, Vegas in March of 2017. Pretty cool. Where am I going to be in? Oh, in March I've got a cruise coming up. Oh yeah, let me plug this in really quick. I'm going on an anti-aging cruise in March. I don't remember the dates. I want to say like March 10th to the 12th or something like that. I don't remember. But um, if you, anybody listening to this that would like more info about it, the, the cabins and the ship start at only three or we'll say $400, which is really inexpensive for a cruise ship. It's going to be a four-day cruise. We're going to hit up Catalina Islands and Ensenada, Mexico. It's going to be a, and you're going to learn some things too about anti-aging and you're going to hear some really talented speakers and there's going to be yoga sessions and things like that. So if you're interested, just Facebook inbox me and I will send you the website link to the cruise. You can look at the full details, the full itinerary, and you'll also be able to book your cabin if you decide you want to go with us. And I hope that you do. It's going to be great. Hi, Tara. Thanks, Linda. Thanks, Nikki. Cool, Linda. Well, make sure you Facebook private message me asking me, just ask me about the cruise and I'll send you the link, okay? All right, everybody. I'm going to get to my Facebook inbox now and get back to some people and my Voxer and get back to some people. <laughs> They've been going off since I've been doing this live feed. Take care, everybody. This was fun. I'll do more hangouts in the future. Hi, Deborah. I'm just about to end this now, but you'll be able to go back and watch it and replay if you wish. But I'm going to end this now. Thanks, everyone, very much. It was a lot of fun. Who knew that a simple hangout could turn into so many different interesting topics and 
and modalities of discussion. And thanks for all the hearts and the likes and everything else. Feel free to share this if you wish. And I'm Tom Birkenmeyer. I've also got TomBirkenmeyer.com. I've got my own domain name. Feel free to visit it. And I'll ta-ta for now, Linda. Absolutely. Take care to everybody. Till the next one, which I'm sure will be soon. Bye for now.